second video, man, feeling good. Day looks great. I'm feeling great. Why not make a video? You know what I'm saying? You might as well. But um, this second video, I wanted to talk about Aries. I wanted to give him more like attention, of course. Give you one on one with each snake, how I care for them, how they look, how I handle them, all of that. Even how I feed them, I might put a feeding video in here after B-rolls of me handling them and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's that's really what I want to do. So let's get into it. So a little bit about them. He's a king snake, um, a variable king snake, and where they're from from like the Mexico area. Like, um, I had it down when I was researching them. It was the New, Nuvo, I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's like Nuvo Leon or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But as you can see, he's just, he's just chilling, man. He's just doing, doing the snake. Just exploring and you know, just, just all of that. But yeah, this is this is Aries, man. And as you can see, like his banding is crazy. I always say he looks like a raccoon because of like his face and how like he has the dark spots, not spots, but like stripes along the side of his face. I don't know if you can really see it, but he's like a little, he's like a little snake raccoon, like a little thief. And you know, it gives him so much personality. Not gonna lie. He's just, he's amazing. And yes, he is a male, even though I keep saying he, I'm pretty sure you guys caught on to that. But it was proven by the people that I had gave him, I had got him from, I'm sorry, that he was actually, a male but yeah um I keep his hot spot on high it's like high 90s to low 90s but his cool side is always 75 and lower but as you can tell he's just he is definitely an amazing snake Definitely, definitely. Adults can reach about two to three feet. Three feet being, you know, very, very, I'm not gonna say rare, but it's not that bad to, I mean, it's not that uncommon to see a two foot snake like this. I'm just surprised he's letting me hold him for this long. Sheesh. He's really chilling. Like, real deal chilling. But yeah, I keep Aries hot spot around 95 degrees sometimes he'd be a little higher sometimes be a little bit lower um i keep his cool side around a 75 give or take you know sometimes it'll be lower sometimes it'll be higher but i keep him in a 10 gallon usually adults can be in a three to four foot enclosure no problem and that's really when i want to give him in like a four foot by two foot by two foot once he gets adult age because I want to make his enclosure more naturalistic but yeah I want to give him a you know four by two by two and I want to put more rocks and more just more naturalistic landscape like right now, he has soil, sticks, 
you know, all that stuff that makes it look like a more temperate forest. Whereas he comes from a more arid, oh gosh, how'd you bite? A more semi-arid landscape. But yeah, this is Aries, man. This is the guy. Now, for what I've been researching, they say they're more nocturnal than diurnal or crepuscular, which means they are more out during the dusk and dawn. But for some reason, I mean, Aries do come out at night a lot, but I really say he is more crepuscular. Just this individual snake, but I can't really speak for why why are you biting what is going on he's trying to eat my hand you are you are a hungry dude god dang i most definitely will feed you like within the next hour because my god you are it was acting crazy i am not a pinky but yeah this, this is the airy man. Probably gonna put him back. Um, I just put Aries in. I took its natural, not natural. Um, I took its fake plant out just because to record this video. But, um, yeah. As of right now, I feed him one pinky every week or every, um, I guess every second or third feeding, I will usually let him eat two pinkies instead of one. Just because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like in the wild, if he come across more than one or two pinkies, he, of course he's gonna eat them. So I'm just like, you know, you deserve your second one. You know, you're a good dude. You've been cooling. You're a good snake. Get your second one in, bro. Keep eating. You know what I'm saying? Get bigger. Do all the things that the snake does. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. But as an adult, he'll eat the largest. He'll probably eat as a large mouse or a small rat. And I'll probably be feeding them like once a week every once every 10 days as adults they're not going to be really they're going to be mobile but they're going to be able to digest their food more slowly than a regular baby would if that makes sense but what i've been researching it's crazy to see that they actually will eat either bird eggs or snake eggs which I find kind of interesting. I'm not gonna sit here and lie about that. But they also been recorded and seen eating other snakes, frogs, lizards, salamanders. So variable king snakes are projected to live at least 15 to 20 years. So I'm gonna have Aries for a big minute. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm really happy about that. I love when I'm gonna be able to like see all my snakes grow from babies to adults and live for a very long time. I feel like that's pretty, like that's pretty cool. You get a connection with them. And you know, all the snakes that I have will live between that 10 to 15 year mark. Well, not 10 to 15, well, 10 to 20 year mark. So I'm real happy about that. You know, I love to have Aries, Calypso, Medusa, all into my late 40s. You know what I'm saying? Which is pretty good. 